You guys are going to love this one. I know I'm going to love it. I, I'm looking forward to it probably more than you guys are, but it's about hair loss, how to prevent it, how to reverse it, the new modern thinking about hair loss, uh, and how it differentiates itself from what we thought in the past. And joining me today to help educate us a little bit is our good friend Jay Campbell. Welcome. Dane, it's an honor, privilege, always humbled to be in your presence, man. Uh, since you and I did that podcast, well, bro, almost three years ago now. Yeah. Uh, it really helped my career. It really helped me in so many ways. So again, I'm always indebted to you. And I, and in the spirit of gratitude, I appreciate it. All right. Tell me how to grow some hair. Cause you grow some hair back on your head. I noticed. I did, man. So, uh, Lean so over. I'll give Let you the... See the top of your head. Lean, put it into the camera. You got hair. You, you could definitely got more hair there. You're not no, sprayed. Man, you don't have that more. sprayed with anything. Do you? Dude, this is straight up regrowth from almost <laughs> being completely bald. I mean, the last time you saw me, I was almost bald. Yeah, you were shaved pretty pretty tight. Yep, yep. So, so what'd you do? What's the, what's, what's so the obviously? Thing? Yeah, so obviously our product. Um, you know, my company is AsirCustom.com. My business partner is a guy by the name of Nick Andrews, and he's yeah. like literally one of the smartest peptide biochemists on planet Earth. Yeah. And we were told in. Company, our, our company launched in November of 2019, and we Hold launched. Oh, just with to stop you, I, I'm going to stop you for a second. I, I'm going to let you go and rant on because you, you, you're a good talker. But I want to just say something. Sure. It didn't start with the company. It started with you doing the research on what what the ingredients in in the company are selling, and then you and then you got involved with the company. So maybe you should explain the science first. I will. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, so so our product is called Oxano Grow. Mm. The earliest two products that we had are a serum and a cream that are the main constituent ingredient is called copper peptide GHKCU. So the copper ion is CU. And if you look into the research of that peptide, what's the GT? It is, what's the other part of it? What's the, it's copper CU. And then what's the other, the G? Uh, it's gly glycohistidine and then whatever. Oh, okay. uh, All right. So that's just, how I mean, it, you know, it's, it's a biochemical. It's Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I can give it to you in a is second. Is this but... the same copper peptide? And I don't know if it was a copper peptide. When I got my, I got hair uh, grafts years ago, like in 2000. So that's 20 years, 21 years ago. And they gave me some kind of like stuff to rub on my head for the first week to help heal it. They said there was some kind of copper stuff in there. Was that the same stuff? Literally the same stuff. And that, 100%. that just, now there's different. It, yeah. Go ahead. What? It had just come out, I think at that point. Exactly. Well, so here's the thing. So copper peptide GHKCU was discovered by a scientist named Lauren Pickert. He still has a company. Uh, the FDA went after him because, you know, like a lot of research scientists, he started, yeah. you know, talking about how the benefits of this amazing peptide and how many multiple applications it has to heal. I mean, Dave, it is absolutely, as my business partner would say, the sham wow of peptides. Yeah. It has a hundred different applications. Uh, applications from healing from nerve regrowth, from, I mean, you know, cellular uh, regenesis, collagen synthesis, um, angiogenesis. Which Why is, obviously is that? What, what, what is copper? What is so special about copper that would cause healing? So copper is basically embedded in all of our biological systems. Like if you look at the copper uh, peptide or just the copper ion, just look at our blood, the heme in our blood, you have copper up and down our cellular systems. Right. So giving a, you know, a, a not a replacement, but just, you know, applying a copper peptide like GHKCU to the skin increases uh, all sorts of cellular mechanisms, which would obviously, re, you know, be regenesis or rejuvenation or regrowth. Right. But it's, it's like I said, it's pretty amazing stuff. So it's so obviously, we it's pro obviously much better absorbed in this form that you're, we're, that, that they're applying than obviously just taking a, a pill with copper in it. Is that, that I'm exactly? Yeah. Right? So, so yes. So, so that's a good question. So let's back up. So the stability of this solution is best injected, but if you've ever injected copper peptide GHKC, GHKC, it burns like it burns. I got okay. You. It's like a bee sting. Uh, and there are guys out there, Dave, that inject GHKCU into their scalp, no question, you know, with tiny needles or whatever, and yeah. they get regrowth. I mean, I, there's, you know, thousands of guys on Reddit to talk about it. But 
the next best version of it would be like our um, solution, which would be through the dermis, obviously. So a transdermal solution. And the head the is very porous to, to, to a lot of chemicals too, because right? Yeah, exactly. And, and an oral an oral version of it, um, it's just not going to pass through the stomach. It's just going to not make it through the digestive system. You know, you're not going to methylalkylate right. it or anything like that. So it's the oral bioavailability is almost nil. Okay. okay. So you got two options. You can rub it on your skin. And you have to, you know, clearly have a smart chemist that has a carrier agent. You don't want to be using DMSO, even though people do. Yeah. Uh, or inject it. Now, our product, which again we launched in 2019 in November, is a three percent grade of GHKCU. So if you go on Amazon or you go on the internet and you right. search copper peptide GHKCU, you get hundreds, literally, of products that claim to have it in there. Right. And almost none of them have at the level that we do. And again, I always say this to people, take the Pepsi challenge, you know, use our product, put it on your face or your skin or, you know, yeah. do it for, you know, again, and we don't really advertise this, but on this show, I will, you can use it to heal too. You can put it on soft tissue traumas mm -hmm. uh, and it, you know, absolutely. Will, you'll, you'll notice a difference within two to three days on yeah. the face for most women that use it, they get like seven to 10 days. They're like, Oh my God, my lines are less. Right. But for guys, a lot of MMA, MMA fighters use it. Full contact guys use it. And from when they're using the gi and they're sparring and stuff, they get cut up and slid sure. up in their face. You put this stuff on your face and it massively speeds the rate of healing. So three percent. I mean, like a lot of people don't know. And I'll give an analogy uh, to food. Sure. S people think like skim milk is like some kind of amazing thing because it's it's, you know, zero percent <laughs> fat. But whole milk is only three percent fat. Okay, which exactly. is still a lot of fat. Now, you know, reduced right. fat, and then they got the 1% and 2%. So you think, you know, oh, that, that sounds like a little bit, but it's actually 3% fat in, in milk is a lot. You know, same thing with, yes. with, with what you're talking about is that it sounds 3% copper peptide doesn't sound like a lot, but that is a lot. That's a high, that's a high um, concentration, right? Exactly. Any, exactly. Good, 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 good vision here. Because if you went higher, you'd be in the clinical side of things. Mm. And obviously we can't be doing that. And again, Nick worked in the biopharma space for 20 plus years as okay. a consultant. So he's a master at creating formulations that obviously are around the guidelines and are considered over the counter and application. Now, um, the issue, or just again, so people in a big picture standpoint can look at this is like, there are tons of cosmetic companies, you know, L'Oreal, Rodan and Fields, the high-end boutique stuff yeah. who mention the name copper peptide. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's other stuff like P1 and all these different peptides that they put in. But Dave, if anybody ever bothered to do a, you know, a test, a stability test and looked under the microscope at what was in these products, they would find almost no active ingredient. Wow. Okay. So they're, when they're, you look at our stuff, is it like these proprietary formulas you see in like the nutrition exactly. industry? They kind of just sprinkle it in there like pixie dust? You just magically said the word yeah. proprietary blend. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to, I have to explain that because I, I want people to get results if they're going to try something like this. And they have to understand that there's a lot of deceptive marketing out there because these companies are big bucks. You know, they can really suck you in with their marketing. But if it doesn't work, this stuff, then, then you're wasting your money, basically. I mean, dude, hundred percent. And that's why, again, we tell people, you know, when you go on our website, products are expensive, but we're not ripping anybody off to put a 3% copper peptide solution in a product is not cheap. So, I mean, that's a yeah, very, right. you know, high end aspect of creating this. But again, the, 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 the process due to mix, you know, extreme expertise is not as simple as just getting a 3% grade right. of copper peptide and then, you know, slapping it on your skin or anything like that. It won't work, but Again, just to go back about the business, um, we were in business, Dave, for about a month and a half, and a guy sent me an email, and he said, bro, it had a before and after picture. He's like, dude, I'm a big fan, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I was listening to Ben Greenfield's podcast, and he had on Ian Mitchell, and Ian Mitchell is the guy that owns uh, Carbon 60 Company, and I, I forget what they're called, but it doesn't matter, but he was talking about Carbon 60, the nanomolecule. Uh, also re regenerates uh, the shaft of the nerve in the follicular root of the scalp. And that his theory was, is that if you use carbon 60 to re regrow your hair, it'll work. So anyway, this guy who was a listener of mine basically was using that stuff that I just showed you before we went on podcast from Taylor made pharmaceuticals, which is a GHK um, dropper. Yeah. And he started mixing it with, with uh, Ian Mitchell's car uh, carbon 60. And in literally 45 days, 
he completely regrew the hair in the back of his bald spot. Wow. So again, he sent us this before and after, and he's like, look, you and Nick need to look into this because this is unbelievable. When we first saw the picture, bro, we thought it was like Photoshopped. Yeah. Because we're like, Do you have that on your transfer. website somewhere? Or can we see that picture? Somewhere? Yeah, yeah, it's on the homepage of the website. You can right. see it. See it's the first picture. picture of one of the before and afters. But so anyway, dude, that was in uh, end of December. Wow. So Nick at 2019. So Nick went to work and looking at both of these agents, you know, to, to potentially put them together. And we launched our product, which is again, GHKCU copper peptide and 3% grade and then carbon 60, which at that time was in a carrier oil of MCT, which was again, version one, which we found, even though it still worked amazingly well, it was too oily. So when you put it in your hair, you'd have too much oil in, right. the, in the hair. So a lot of women complained. Guys would even complain. They were like, dude, it's awesome. And it's regrowing my hair. But I'm, I'm you know, I'm, when I go to sleep at night, I'm getting oil on my pillowcases. So we obviously fixed that. Um, and, and by the way, we launched the product on June 5th of last year. Right. And the same day, the same day that we launched the product, Ben Greenfield promoted the face and skin. So it was like a perfect coincidence. Uh, what's the car? What's the carbon product do? So the serum. Oh, so the carbon sixty is. It's a good question. So the carbon sixty functions as a sponge. So think of it as a very powerful, like a super antioxidant dismutase. Mm. So you put the GHK on your scalp, right? Which is going to increase angiogenesis, increase red blood cell and collagen formation in the scalp. Okay. Right. And then the carbon 60 pulls it into the scalp. Oh, Again, so that's I what it helps you absorb it. Is that, now exactly. I, you sent me this little thing and I've been using it. And one is, you spray one on first and then the second thing you put on, is that the carbon the carbon 60? Exactly. And, and oh. we, we're finding now that it really doesn't matter what goes on first. Oh, we okay. recommend that you put the GHK, which is serum A, on first because it's water-based, okay? So when you apply it, you literally spray it into your scalp. How much? Then, how many sprays should I be putting on there? Uh, for you right now, probably two. Oh, I've been using two, four. Of, two of each. So you know, get it to the place where you All want right. your most. You want to focus your regrowth, and then you just massage it in. Okay. I might now, need again, 20, a lot I of might people, need twenty sprays because I want to focus it everywhere. <laughs> so, so here's the thing: you don't need to oversaturate the scalp. Right. All you need to do is make sure it gets into the scalp. Gotcha. So me and you don't have to worry, but people with longer hair, if they're just spraying it into the hair oh, yeah. and not massaging it into the scalp, it's going to go into the hair follicles yeah, and not work. Yeah. I'm totally about <laughs> Now what I do is I comb all my hair forward, get it out yep. of the way of my, cause I do comb some of it back obviously. And then I, I yep. and then I put it right here. I've been using it for about what, about three weeks. Maybe you sent it yep. to me. So I'll see what happens. Um, I, I, I I, I don't like to get too excited, but I, I do notice some little hairs there, but I don't know if it's really, if it's real or not. So I, I'm going to keep letting it grow and I'll keep applying it. Now, I want to just tell you a funny story because my son likes to go into my bathroom and explore like he's into sprays now. He thinks he's like a <laughs> beautician. So he goes and he takes my, <laughs> takes my daughter, my three-year-old daughter, he's five, and he, he styles her hair. I came into, the, in, into my bathroom and cause they were being very quiet in there and I was, I was horrified. He was using... The, the, the copper peptide. <laughs> like it was like, he was like spraying water on there. So I'm like, no, don't touch my stuff. <laughs> He's like, what? What I did? So, what so what you're saying is you need a couple, uh, couple, I need a couple, couple of bottles. Yeah, but <laughs> if my daughter starts growing really, really thick hair, we'll know uh, <laughs> it works. So. <laughs> so look, so on that, um, so Victor Black, I think you know Victor. Yeah. Um, he just, posted a big thing on his Instagram. So he's been using it since uh, May 12th, May, no, May 13th. And okay. he posted on Monday, which would have been what? the thir So one month. And he literally, like mine, like yeah. regrew his hair from a bald spot on the back. I mean, right. it's not like, you know, super thick, but he regrew it a lot. So, I mean, we, we definitely have thousands of people out there that are using it that are getting regrowth. Now, it is important, and I'm glad you said it, if you are not living an optimized lifestyle, yeah. and what does that mean? You're inflamed, mm -hmm. okay? You will not get the best results because gotcha. you don't have the optimal blood flow. Mm -hmm. So, so what, people what that are, you, like you said, type, so what do you type recommend? 1 diabetics, high blood sugar, high insulin, gotcha. okay. you are not going to get the same results as somebody that is less inflamed. Gotcha. Inflammation is what when I go for my, and you can test your inflammation, guys, in your body by going for yep. a C-reactive protein test. Yep. 
I mean, I know I see people come back high on the C reactive. Mine, mine is always like like point oh oh one or something like that. It's very yep. I have very low because I eat a very anti-inflammation diet to begin with, right. just because I know it's good for you. And um, but a lot of people are very inflamed, like you said. So it's good to take you know your fish oils and stuff like that and help reduce inflammation in your body. Start stay away from sugars and stuff like that. Get control of your of your blood sugar now. Jay, you know, people are going to ask me because, you know, I've been taking finasteride for 20 years, okay? But I'm a yes. very high DHT converter, just in general. So I really, I, I don't know if it ever made me stop losing hair or not. I, I, that's what I took it for, but I knew my father had prostate problems, stuff like that. So I, I took it more as a, as, as a protective effect because I, and I, when I got my DNA tested uh, about two years ago, I also, it showed that I'm a very high DHT converter. So I'm on no hormone replacement whatsoever. I don't take any testosterone, nothing. And I take uh, 2.5 milligrams of finasteride a day, and my, and my DHT levels are in the normal mid-range. So you can imagine how high they would be if I didn't. I just am a big DHT converter. But for, for people who are not, let's say, what's wrong with, or what, what's wrong with, the, with the idea of DHT causes hair loss? Because I know you're against that whole... School yeah, so I mean, it, it's a very complicated question. Um, you know, I will definitely say that we wrote an article which you have access to now um, that will publish on Ben Greenfield's website a week from yesterday. So was that the twenty second? You know, for and people who don't know who Ben, can you explain who Ben is? Yeah, so Ben Greenfield's a big biohacker. You know, he's got like three or four million people that follow him, and yeah. you know, we wanted to him. We my my partner and I also did a podcast with him recently that breaks tomorrow, which will mm -hmm. be Thursday, June seventeenth, um, breaking down the DHT inhibition theory of hair loss. So anyway, the question I would just tell people that it'll be on the internet. There'll be an eighty five hundred word article with all the science. No one reads. Everyone Jay. will. No see. one reads. It's, it's, give us the, the the Reader's Digest. Version. No one reads is right, except people like me and you, Dave. No yeah. one reads anymore. You're right. You're right. So the 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 the, the garden groove basement understanding is this dht inhibition was once thought to be the primary cause or the causal agent of hair loss right. we now know that it is not even close to that it is if anything it is a secondary downstream potentiator of hair loss so all of that uh you know finasteride you know and i and by the way i know thousands of guys like you that have, you guys have been taken you know did you stop your hair loss? Potentially, yes, but have you addicted your body or you know committed your body to being attached through that drugs mechanism of action to stopping uh, DHT formation? And now the question is, is if you stop taking the finasteride, yeah. is your hair going to all fall out? I mean, for you, it's different because you've had the transplant stuff. But well, for guys I'm going with the hair in my back of my head too. So yeah, I, I yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. So the, I really reality, take it just for maintenance of DHT is, levels. Is could, I don't even care if it does anything. I just want to keep my DHT in balance, you know? Right. No, no, no. For you, it's a different story. But for most people, it goes back to like when you and I were talking about testosterone and like why you don't want to use an AI. You don't want to inhibit any biological systems because as I always say, God is a lot smarter than big pharma. <laughs> okay. And there's always downstream negative side effects. Right. That can happen. Now, again, not everybody experiences these with DHT, right? But we now know that you can regrow your hair much better than using a DHT blocking right. that, or that's drug. That's the interesting that, science that's going on here. We're talking that's about that. This, right. The science is what we now know is the primary causal agent of hair loss is blood flow to the follicles in the scalp. Now, do you think the reduction of blood flow to the follicles in the scalp happens to be a genetic time clock that goes off in some people? Because I look at guys like, you know, Jay Cutler. He's got a full head of hair. The guy didn't lose a... The guy never lost a hair on his head from all the years of bodybuilding and using your gear and stuff like that. I mean, is... Is it genetic that some people's blood supply gets cut off or they have a predisposition to that and other people, they're just their blood supply to the scalp is amazing. I mean, why do some yes. people lose hair or not? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, there's basically, there's basically five causes. Okay. But the answer is yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's, it's Russian roulette. It's biochemical individuality, but micro inflammations in the scalp. Okay. Uh, genetics, right. Androgenic alopecia. Right. And then you have lifestyle. 
So the more inflamed that you are in your life, and obviously inflammation is, you know, multi-causal as well, the, le the more likely you're going to have hair loss at a various time or point. And by the way, this is also for women, okay? Mm -hmm. Women who have poor sleep habits, who are stress cases, who mm -hmm. worry all the time, they also lose their hair a lot faster than people that aren't. Now, obviously this is kind of subjective, right? but there's no question that everything boils down to the blood flow to the scalp. Gotcha. So yes, a guy like Jeff, Jay Cutler is genetically blessed because we all know that he did all sorts of things to look the way he did when he was competing right. and he didn't lose hair. Whereas other guys just look at, uh, you know, a DHT drug and mm -hmm. their hair falls out. Right. Right. So what's the solution to reduce inflammation in the scalp? Is, is this, is this going to be the new, you know, standard that, that, that hair loss clinics and people are going to basically say, Hey, look, we could restore your hair with giving you hair grafts, but you got to use these copper peptides. We got to use this, this carbon 90 or carbon 60, excuse me, to help absorb it or whatever, whatever version, whatever, you know, I guess you could say uh, compound you're going to use to help the absorption is copper peptide going to be the standard hat for, for hair loss. So, yeah, so from a angiogenesis effect, 100%. Okay, so what does angiogenesis mean? Again, stimulating the blood flow, red blood cell formation in the uh, target area of application. So right. angiogenesis is the primary mechanism of action that we want to target to, again, regrow the hair follicle. Now, what are other things that you can do? Yes, so the, the, absorb, the absorption agent of, uh, you know, think of it as like a super, a sponge, uh, an yeah. oxidative sponge to pull in the uh, angiogenic effect of the carbon-60 but you can also, and you said it earlier in the show, what's most important from an aging standpoint is improving mitochondrial function. Interesting, okay. okay. So if we strengthen and improve the mitochondria, then, you know, therefore we will also improve the replication of the cells and all the various things that cause aging, which is, as you know, you know, telomere lengthening and, and detangling and then also uh, antioxidants. Mm -hmm. So if we improve the mitochondria, which right. we can do. And, and by the way, in the article, and I'll share it with your listeners, you know, we create a stack. We say, okay, this is the Jay and Nick stack to mm. regrow your own hair to the <laughs> maximum um, allowable. And by the way, I want to say this on your show. If you have androgenic alopecia, right. okay, so I had that. Obviously, you had that. Yeah. You can still stop it if you start doing these things early enough. You just have to be much more militant and, you know, uh, anal retentive right. than somebody who's like Jay Cutler. Does that right. make sense? Yeah. Now let me ask you this question. Since you know I'm 53, you know, you, you know, can I regrow hair at this point? I mean, mm -hmm. is, is 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 it possible to get my scalp to start producing? One hundred percent, dude. New hairs. One hundred percent. You can regrow your hair even over the grafts that you had. Here's how you do it. So, um, you know, I'm not being a shill. Oh, no, when they, when they, wait, just for people who don't know, when they do grafts, they only do it in the front because they, no one has enough donor hair to do your whole head. Right. So, right. so, right. And, and that looks, you know, whatever it gives you a, like a receding hairline, then that's fine. Right. But, you know, I, you know, we all want our little bald spot to be, you know, filled in too there. So the only, you know, we've, we've been waiting for them to grow hair in a Petri dish. They've been promising that for 20 years. No one's done it. So uh, I think the best bet, like you said, is growing your own hair back. That's exactly right. And I wish I had this picture. I would show the screen of Victor's hair because he has that bald spot, but whatever. Well, you can, you can post it. I'll post a link in the comments after yeah. this is over, but so this is how you do it. Okay. Um, you use our product as the base immediately. And again, remember a serum, a scalp massage, 30 yeah. seconds, 40 seconds, let it dry, put serum B, which is the carbon 60, which again, and I haven't said this yet, it's in an oil extract of grapeseed oil. So Dave, you know, this grapeseed oil is a very fine, misty oil. So right. when you put it in your scalp, it actually adds, a, it looks like a product. Yeah. It looks so, like I, I put like my, some gel in my hair or something like that. Yeah, I'm exactly. Doing. So you can see mine right now. There's a tiny bit of oil in it. That's, yeah. that's the B. Oh, okay. So I, I, I use that to night. push up. So I do it. Yeah. Night. A lot of people love that. You know, Chris Gethin is a big user of our product. And he's like, when he talks about it, he's like, I, I don't use product anymore. Yeah. Now imagine, dude, this is something you and I should talk about. Imagine what kind of damage we do to our hair when we put these garbage products like shampoo and conditioner and right. all these things that we put into our scalp. Look at the chemical constituents in these things. Mm. Right. People shouldn't even wash their hair, truthfully. 
<laughs> they should just wash it with water. Uh, Jay, I'm, let me just tell you something. I'm a very greasy Italian. I, the grease that comes out of me, you can cook, uh, you can saute uh, chicken cutlets in it. So I can't be putting too much oils in my in my hair. It would no, be dripping, you, would be dripping down my head while I'm doing my podcast. So what I do is I, I take a shower at night. I use a shampoo that's, you know, not like, one, I, I use one of these shampoos from online too that, they, that sure. says it's a carbonic acid or some other crap. It right, right, right. It scare scalp out. I don't know if it does anything. And then I get out of the shower. I let my hair dry. I let my scalp dry. And then I put your products in. Okay. And then I, I go to sleep after that. And then, so, and then in the morning I get up and I do another shampoo with the, the, that other product. And then I, because I can't walk around with grease in my hair all day. Because like I said, by midday, ask Tyler, I'll have oil running down my face. <laughs> yep. No, no, no. Look, and I, and I, and I totally get that. And again, that's a genetic thing with sebum. You know, some people just overproduce yeah. oil and stuff like that. So, you know, I totally get that. But like, if you really did like a deep dive on hair health, yeah, most people are putting shit in their hair. All oh, the time. absolutely. Awesome. You're right. You're right. You're so, right. I mean, it's, it, it's crazy, but that's exactly what you should do. Okay. So you do that. Okay. Yeah. And then, and again, this is like a state of the art as you can I, get. I, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Do you, do you dye your hair? No, dude, this is literally straight up from the product. My hair, you can see I have gray. You know, I, I'm close crop on the side. Well, the reason I ask you that, you're kind of gray on the sides, but yet you're very dark on top. Why is that? So that's another advantage of the product okay. is it goes to your natural root color. Oh, really? So when people see me, they're like, bro, are you fucking dyeing your hair? And I'm like, no, this is literally from Oxana. Oh, wow. Okay, because I used to dye my hair, but I stopped. And then, you know, now I have a lot of grays in this. I, I'll, I'll be interested to see if it, my hair grows out darker. I still have grays. You can see, look, I have tons of grays. Yeah. I'm salt and pepper, but this is from Oxana. All right, I'm going to try it. It's pretty nuts. But then again, dude, I've only been using Oxana. We never even got into that story of what happened to the company. But I've only been using Oxana now consistently for three months. Oh, okay. So I have completely, for the most part, regrown my hair. And again, you know, I was, I, dude, I already had the Vantus you know, micro pigmentation done on the top of my scalp. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I was gone, but anyway, what do you do? You put this on, then you do red light therapy to your scalp. Okay. Now you can buy a cap. You can just use one of those, you know, juves, six minutes, eight minutes, whatever. What is that? Okay. Now I'm, I'm, I'm getting really deep here. Now you also use, hold on. What does the red light therapy do? Explain. So the red light therapy increases mitochondrial function. Okay. So all of the mitochondria in the scalp are going to be tuned up. Okay. Yeah. So that's obviously going to help with the geo. It's, a, the it's just a regular absorption. red light bulb, but what is it? Is it infrared? What is um, it? Well, I mean, you know, there's a million, dude, there's so many now. I mean, you know, if you get into dork speak about red light, it's due to the flicker rate, bro. But I mean, I use the juve that, you know, that's just a company that I affiliate for. There's a million of them though. Okay. As long as you get red light therapy on the scalp, you know what the increases... truth is. I'll never do it, so I'm not gonna. I, I'm gonna skip. Well, look, stuff. dude, you could literally, you a guy like you could just call one of these guys, like Restore, I, I Restore, or whatever, and just yeah. say, hey, let just send me a cap, and I'll promote you guys. But I mean, right. they do have little caps that you can wear for like ten minutes a day. I know, but I don't know if I'll put it on. You know, maybe we could turn the studio lights into red lights, and I can just, I'll be, I'll be there all day long. Bro. I'll be hit by red light this way. Tyler literally, and I can there you go. So, hair while so we're red light, TV. red light would be secondary. <laughs> now again, I'm getting dorky here. You want to drink deuterium depleted water. Now this is Icelandic water with deuterium depletion inside. So what is deuterium like, depletion? So deuterium depletion is. I know what deuterium is, but I don't know what deuterium depletion is. So basically, there's two companies on the planet right now that deplete the water of deuterium. So you already know what deuterium is. So basically, deuterium is in our cells, and deuterium is what causes us to die. Oh, we really? fucking die at 110, 115, whenever we shut off due to the effect of deuterium in our cells. So if you deplete the deuterium, you massively stimulate mitochondrial function in your Why body. Why is deuterium, which I, it's, isn't that heavy water? Isn't it? Exactly. Why is that exactly. bad for you? Oh, dude, it's terrible for the cells. It destroys the functioning of the nanomotors in the mitochondrial. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It completely shuts down your mitochondria. The reason your mitochondria stop functioning optimally at like 55, 60 is because the deuterium. So, when, so if you start drinking deuterium depleted water, you're going to massively upregulate your mitochondria. Where do you get too. deuterium depleted water? You, now you're turning me into a complete neurotic now. You know that? I, I can't do these interviews with you, Jay, anymore. <laughs> where do you get this water? I'll send you a link, bro. I've been, so I've been using deuterium depleted water for about four months now. Can you make your own or no? 
Do I make my own? No. Do you yeah, make your own? Really I said. Do they have any water filters that make your own deuterium? No, deuterium? you got to buy it, man. Sucks. Who, who makes it? And it's expensive. Who makes Do it? it? Who makes it? Uh, there's a, no, there's a company called Light Water. It's drinklightwater.com. That's where right. you get it. Hold on. That, yeah, you drink only that water or you can just have a couple bottles? No, of no, no. So you just basically you take their water and you deplete your liquid sources. So you can even do it with like wine, you know, you know, whatever you drink, you just add some of the deuterium depleted water and you do it for like 90 days right. until you get, and then you take a test, like, you know, anything else. And you figure out where your level of deuterium is in your body. And once you get to a parts per million, your body is like maximum mitochondrial upregulation. Is there a kit to, to, to determine this? Like what your deuterium level is? Uh, well, you, with the company, they send you, you, you know, you can buy the test. They, they want you to take it after like 90 days of using uh, the water. You'll to see send me the link. But I mean, I'll try it. I, I mean, dude, it's, it's definitely... Infra, so I like infrared saunas. That's one of my things. But yeah. like between infrared sauna and drinking deuterium depleted water, it's all it's a big time like biohack. It's it's wow. it's pretty amazing. You definitely feel better energy. I, guys in our world, dude, will get leaner. You will lose more belly fat just naturally. Not doing anything. I don't else. have any belly fat to lose, but I want to live longer. <laughs> <laughs> and I want You're to blessed, grow hair. <laughs> You're blessed. So then the other stuff would be. Um, you know, to add to it, with the the last thing would be to take either metformin or glycoberberin to massively suppress uh, insulin. Again, circulating insulin, because now they know, and there's all sorts of studies coming out, bro. Yeah. Um, that you know, basically, metformin and glycoberberin and all of these like glucose suppressors or regulators. Uh, there's a massive uh, improvement in mitochondrial function when you keep circulating insulin way down. Yeah. Well, you know what? I I well, I mean, mitochondria oxidize fat, so that would make sense. But my yeah. point uh, that what I use um, for mitochondrial function is PQQ. Have you used that? PQQ is amazing. I have. Yeah. I take it every fucking day. It's expensive. You got that, life that's extension? supposed to regenerate mitochondria. So the, the only issue with PQQ is that there isn't, unless you have somebody that you, I don't know about, but like oh. it, it's, it's difficult to get it into the cells. Oh. So it's still a great product. Don't get me wrong. You I take use life, life extension. extension. I don't know if I don't know if it's any good or yeah, not. Yeah. I take life extension yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a, it, it's a great product. So, I mean, you know, I, we, you could throw that in, but in truth, I think metformin or glycoberberin is probably just a little bit stronger than that. But yeah, you, but you know what? Throw metformin is like, people have uh, digestive issues with it and uh, bro, di metformin yeah. is only a problem if your diet sucks. Yeah. Because it's increasing agromancia in your gut. So if your gut, if you have digestive issues on metformin, that's basically a gut check. That's literally saying, bro, you need to clean up. The I diet. mean, I have never tried it, but. Um... Oh, you, I mean, you don't need it because you're so well, you're so ripped, and you have such low. Well, blood I mean, that doesn't mean my blood sugar control is good because you know everyone can use a little better blood sugar control. What? How much do you take a day of it? So, so let me just say, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but let me just talk about metformin. So um, it does so many things outside of the things that we talk about. It causes apoptosis of tumors. It increases, I'm sorry, increases. It decreases all of the gunk in the dendritic and synaptic pathways in the brain. Yeah. So if you're going to take like a supplement that is like an all encompassing, you know, life extending supplement metformin. So I take a gram AM and I take That's a, a lot. gram PM. Nope. It's a lot. Most people take 500, 500 women take 250, 250. Um, I've been taking a gram for about, uh, almost 10 years now. I used to take 500. I've been on it for 20. And I, by the way, I just had my, uh, my metabolic health done with uh, true diagnostic and I'm 20.75. And I'm 50. What what what's your hemoglobin A1C? Super low, like 4.9. You know what? I was I was shocked. Mine came back at 4.6. I don't know how That's it did. Insane. It went, it went from 5.6 to 4.6. I ever since the COVID hit, and I don't go out to eat every you know every night anymore. I'm eating healthy. Oh, bro, you are a super freak. You're a mutant. But that's know. that's extremely low. Yeah, I didn't. I, I, I mean, thought it was a lab error, to be honest. With you. But I had it done twice, and it was it was came back twice. That one. I don't know. I mean, most people who are healthy are at five three, I five know. two. I would have been happy at five two. Believe me, I, I was shocked. My wife thought that's, I was lying. She, I showed that's it. amazing, dude. That's literally amazing. But so that's it, man. So you know, uh, an angiogenic stimulator, which obviously is going to be GHK. You know, uh, uh, maybe you can figure this out. Hold on. I don't need to, 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 you know, my, my hemoglobin A1C was five, six. I got thyroid cancer. I had my thyroid removed. And that's when it all of a sudden it dropped down. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Wow. Interesting. Isn't that weird? 
Yeah. I wonder, maybe. If the, I wonder if the thyroid cancer was, you know, fucking up my blood sugar. I don't know. It, I mean, it definitely could have. Did they remove your entire thyroid? Yeah, the whole thing's gone. I'm uh, on replacement. So what are you taking as a replacement? Are you taking uh, desiccated or just T3? No, I just take, I take like the generic, you know, L-thyroxine, you know, T4. Right. <laughs> right. My, right. my doctor right. said, I'll write you whatever you want. I said, well, let's see if it works. It's cheap, you know, I don't care. if it, yeah. it, That's doing the job. No. Like T3 levels are normal high and and my uh, T4 is, is normal, so. I mean, you're so lean, it wouldn't matter. I would just say, be careful because usually if you're not getting something to supplement T1 and T2 too, you can get an imbalance, but I mean, yeah. for you, it doesn't probably matter. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So I don't. I don't know if it. I. It was just weird. It seemed like just when I got that done, that's when my hemoglobin A1C dropped. Now my surgeon originally yeah. thought, well, maybe it was due to the fact that you lost some blood during the surgery, and you know your hemoglobin levels went down. But now it's been you know four months, five months, whatever, and, and I'm still low. So wow. That's interesting. Interesting, yeah, interesting. Anyway, let's get back to Harold's. So, what if people want to get this product from you? What, how, what, what's the procedure? How much do they need? To, what's the cost per month? You know, give me that stuff. Yeah, it's a good question. It, so, um, so right now the product is two hundred forty nine dollars, and, and for most people, depending again on your length of hair and also the rate of loss, right, it can last ninety days. So oh, it's, okay, that's a good deal. I mean, when you when you really look at the cost versus the the benefit, I mean, give me a break. I mean, you know, people are paying 50, Jay, 60 grand. Do you grand. know what guys pay for a Riminex? Right, bro. Let's, I mean, and, that, and, I mean did, I, I mean, are guys you know? still using a Riminex, dude? Come on. They, you know, some people just need it. But my point is that I'm talking talk about the hormone replacement guys. I'm talking about guys, you know, like bodybuilders that, that, that are on drugs. I mean, they spend way more than that. That's, that's yeah, cheap. Yeah, I got it, man. That's I 50 bucks a month you're talking about, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Between 50 and 75 oh, excuse a month. Me, $75, so, excuse me, $75 a month. Yeah, yeah I mean, and, you know, you can get, you know, we'll say, you know. Here's the question, though. Shows a discount. Here's the question. <laughs> Before we get to the discount. Let's say I take it for six months and my hair grows. Do I have to keep taking it? You do not. It's a great question. Okay. You do not. It's not It's not like the DHT inhibition where you're attached to the follicles and you have to be on it. No. But but you definitely want to maintain, um, you know, that angiogenic effect in the scalp. So what we're doing, and we're not there yet, but we yeah. are developing. Well, two things that's important for your listening audience is the product right now is a two phase. Again, serum A, GHK, serum B, the right. nanomolecule carbon sixty. So, uh, it will be a one phase product by end of September. Oh really? Okay, okay so, so you're gonna put them together. That's good. Exactly. And, and we have a provisional patent on that right now. It's basically going to be, I'll just tell people it's, you know, it's going to be a uh, liposomal, right? So the, the oil base will oh, be nice. encapsulated in the water and it, it ultimately will probably not be a sprayer anymore. It's probably going to be like a dropper, oh, you know, cool. drop it in, drop it in where you have the, the I'll the tell you one thing, Jay, though, when metrics first came out in the early nineties, they had the base and the plus and you did two scoops of each and then you blended it up. I kind of like that better than the one pack, even though the one pack was a little bit more uh, convenient. <laughs> the, o- the only problem is, is like, believe me, if you remember, well, you didn't see the first, the first formulation was a, was a dispenser. Oh. And again, the B was in uh, MCT oil. So as a yeah. much, you know, yeah, yeah. thinner, but oilier and greasier. I'm just kidding. I'm sure it'll be amazing. So no, that- well, I mean, the women, it, it is a great question. Yeah. And, 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 you know, some guys will say, and this is actually important for your listeners to know this. And again, I didn't know this. My, my, um, my, you know, Nick, my partner, brilliant chemist knew this. So a lot of guys in the hair place, dude, and you know that a lot of these guys, I won't mention their names, they have foam mousses. Yeah. And that shit is worthless. Because Why? guess what? As we already said, it doesn't get into the scalp. It's going into the hair right. shafts. Right. Gotcha. So all those guys making foam mousses are not getting it into the scalp, which is where you need to get regrowth and regenesis. So, so it's, it's all about penetration in, in, into where you need to get it. Right? Absolutely. Okay. 100%. So to your question, because it's the best question. Yeah. We are creating a scalp health product that will be considered Oxano Evening. So the product that you and I are using and thousands of people around the world are using right now, which is just called Oxano Grow version two, will become Oxano Day. Okay. And then the night version will be what you're doing right now. So you already hacked it. You take a shower, you leave it, leave, leave your hair a little bit damp, and then you're going to take this dropper and you're going to apply it in your scalp and you're going to go like this and yeah. you're going to go to bed. So, I got, so I'm going to do it twice a day now. 
I mean, you will for if you want like super regressive. I want growth. super I mean, growth. I want it. I want the best. I want. I don't. 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 Don't go lightly on me here, Jay. No. No lightly. I, I can definitely tell you this: the version, the the night version, Oxano Evening. Yeah. Will be stronger than Oxano Day, and the reason why is, well, it's going to have a couple more peptides that we don't have in it for hair regrowth. But most importantly, when you're sleeping, you cannot create microinflammations. Sure. Or it's during the day, you're outside, you're sweating, you're, yeah. you know, you're, you're Italian and you have all sorts of sebum coming. Yeah, through. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you'll, you'll get much better regrowth at night sleeping yeah. with this product okay. than you would during the day putting it in. But there's no question that when you put version or uh, a, a day product and evening product, bro, you're going to get tremendous all regrowth. Right. I'm looking forward to it. You'll have to send it to me. Now, now Pete, we have a link. We have a, a banner on RX Muscle I'm going to be putting up and on my daypalumbo.com website. And you can go click on that banner and get over to uh, your site. Is there a discount or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So for all of your listeners, they'll be able to take 15% off. It's huge 15. Huge 15 is the uh, 15% off. And the off link there. is just asircustom.com forward slash huge. Okay, and they can just click just click on the banner, guys, off this, off either website, my website or the Arx Muscle site, and it'll be just easier. And just use the huge uh, 15 code and you'll get 15% off your order. Look, I like the fact that it's not something you, that you're hooked into for life. Guys, do it for three months. Try, see what you get. If you get hair regrowth, keep doing it. That's what I always tell people. Just, you know, right. do your own experiment because you know what? I have to believe, Jay, that every person will respond differently. You're going to have the hyper responders 100%. that have amazing growth because maybe they have, like you said, tremendous inflammation. And then you might have people that have maybe some growth, but not as much because maybe that's not the issue that they have. I don't know. Exactly. No, that's exactly right, Dave. There's nothing perfect for anybody, but I will definitely say that if you are living a healthy, low inflammation lifestyle yeah. and you attempt to grow your hair with this product and obviously you follow the instructions and sh watch the demonstration videos, right. it would be very hard pressed for me to think that you won't get some growth. Now, we do have people that regrow their hair in two weeks. Most people uh, see regrowth within 45 to 60 days. And then, you know, I was just talking to Victor Black about this this morning. He's in Thailand. The strongest, most pronounced effect is between day 50 and day 90. That's uh, when you really see like the hair just coming right. back and you're kind of like, what the hell? That's yeah. I always believe in, look, you got to, you got to put the work in, you got to put the stuff on, yep. you got to follow the instructions. Cause a lot of people after two weeks, they get bored and they stop doing it. They miss, they miss applications. Right. Once you do that, it's like not going to the gym, missing workouts or missing meals during right. your, you're not going to get the best results when you do that. You got to be super crazy neurotic like I am. Otherwise, you're not going to get good, good results. It's totally any. true. If, and if you're fat and you're inflamed, yeah. you're not going to get the same results because you do not have blood flow to your scalp. Yeah. Again, it's all about how do I get the optimal blood flow to my scalp? I use this product. I Should use I a stand light. on my head? Is that going to help or anything like that? I mean, in, in theory, you would get better blood flow to your scalp. You know, that neuro, what is it called? The scalp, I forget. The, the, so here's something we didn't talk about. Yeah. If you took your hands and you lifted the skin, yeah. right? Like really tight right here. We all have like a genetic level of skin right yeah. around here. Some of us is much tighter than others. That's called the, and in a lot of the, the newest area. research, well, look, in a lot of the newest research, they know that the people that have the most laxity right here yeah. have the worst hair loss because again, it can't get in. They, 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 they have really a lot of microinflammations in the skin. So the tighter your skin is right around here, the better you're going to maintain your hair through life. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, this is a true story. I'll leave, I'll leave us with this story because I, I had a crazy doctor friend of mine. He's no longer with us. May he rest in peace, Dr. Mike. He was like one of these like novel, you know, original thinkers and, you know, there's a strip of, of connective tissue underneath your scalp. Yep. I forget what it's called now. Um, it, it's, it's, I can't think of it, but it's a thick band of connective tissue. Yes. As you get older, yes. it gets thicker. And sometimes they think that that could be, all, you know, his theory was that that's what caused hair loss because as it thickened in response to whatever, stress, inflammation. Bro, well, he's right. And he's right. Use, he actually, right. this is a true story. I swear to you, this is true. He found a, a surgeon crazy enough to remove his. So they peeled his head back. And they took that band of connected tissue off because he was, and he was convinced he was going to grow back his hair after doing this. This was back in the 90s. And they, they not, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. They closed him back up and he looked like a Sharpay his head after that because it was so uneven. 
you know, it was, <laughs> and I unfortunately he passed away a couple years later. Not, not because of that, obviously, but the, the point is that I don't know if that was the right the right thing to do. But you know, what was he using to try to regrow his hair? Was nothing, the, because they didn't have anything. They used minoxidil yeah. back then, and you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah. and, and, pro, yeah. and finasteride. That was it back then. You know, yeah, yeah. We and by, by the way, you know, things. people will ask because we get that question all the time. Can I continue my script minoxidil? with this product and technically you could potentially have more hair regrowth but as you know dave minoxidil if you stop using it in a lot of users has that potentiation of losing your hair so we say just work on improving the health of the follicle yeah kill the minoxidil use this use the other things yeah. and, and by the way we didn't mention this we should you can absolutely use prp you can absolutely use exosomes on top of this. So this would be stem cell stuff once like a year, maybe, you know, exosomes in the beginning of the year, PRP at the end of the year, but that would be it. And, and all of those, again, combining red light, deuterium depleted water, metformin or glycoberberin, you definitely should get in theory regrowth. And you know, I want to just say this, you know, when I, I breed snakes, okay. And, and reptiles, people know I talk about this all the time. And to get a lot of these snakes to breed, there's certain triggers daylight cycles there's dropping the, dropping the temperatures during the winter months because 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 that stimulates breeding there's um there's just a million different like little tricks um that you can do and you don't have to do them all if there's enough if you push enough buttons in other words the, the snake will breed same thing with hair regrowth jay just gave you 40 different things to do don't get overwhelmed you don't have to do every single one of them right that's the key. You don't have to do every, if you, there could be a hundred thousand things you can find on the internet. Pick the ones that are the most potent. And I recommend picking one or two because if you do too many variables, you don't know which ones are actually doing something and doing and not doing something. So, yeah. you know, try the copper peptide, you know, combination, the Oxana, uh, you know, listen to Jay in terms of, you know, fixing your diet, getting your blood sugar under control reducing inflammation and see if that works if it works great you don't need to do 40 other things if it doesn't exactly work or right. it's not working effectively enough then try to start adding some of these other variables in but you could overwhelm yourself because i know i get overwhelmed with this type of stuff sometimes too but it's not you don't have to do everything there's only a couple once you trigger the hair to start growing again you've done your job right spend 200 exactly dave you're 100 percent right 249 bucks give yourself 60 to 90 days depending on how long your hair is if you can find a $50 and they're out there, a $50, you know, portable hair light cap, you know, after you put this shit on, put that on for six minutes yeah. and then that's it. You don't have to do anything else Yeah. and give it 60, you know, si give it 60 days. You will see some regrowth again, assuming you're not inflamed or diseased. And by the way, we didn't say this. If you have COPD and I don't think many of your listeners do, no. but if you have COPD or you have another serious blood issue, you're definitely, it won't work because you're not getting blood flow to the scalp. All right, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not doing anything other than the stuff you're sending me because I, I want to see if it works. Because I'm not, I'm not putting a million different variables. I'm only going to do that. I might look into the deuterium depleted water if it's not too, if it's not going to make me too much of a nutcase. But other than that, I'm not doing anything else. I'm, I'm sticking with my normal regimen because I want to actually see how much hair I regrow with your formula. And I'm, you, everyone knows in my audience, I'm very honest in terms of it. If it works, I'll say it works. If it doesn't work, I'll tell people it didn't work on me. But I, tr I, I trust the science makes sense to me. I, I like you yes. because you're very analytical like I am and very scientifically geared. It makes sense. I'm going to give it a shot. Anyone else that wants to give it a shot, you can check out the website. Uh, use the code HUGE15. Uh, you get 15% off. And you know, give us your feedback. Put them in the comments below. If you've gotten good results or if it works, let us know. We'll get Jay back and uh, when the new formula comes out and we'll... We'll talk a little bit more about that. And uh, Jay, I, I greatly appreciate you coming on the show and, and educating not only my audience, but me as well today. And I, I mean, that's an honor, man. You're a guy as smart as you, dude. I actually just gave you the link to uh, the article that my copywriter and I wrote on deuterium depleted water. It's cool. exactly, it's perfect for you because it's like, you know, what the hell is this? Why would I use this? And, you know, how do I do it? It's it's pretty simple. But yeah, I mean, that's advanced stuff. But yeah, man, I appreciate you, dude, for always bringing me on your show. And it's an honor. And uh, I look forward to the future. I, I'm using the Vitalizer Plus right now. I'm spinning my water. Do you do it? Yet? Have you seen that? The I have. I'm, I'm very familiar with that. I mean, that would actually be something you would add or, you know, throw in after. I mean, 
Dude, all you have to do is just drink the solution. Like you already said it's heavy water. It's depleted heavy water. And just throw it into your current liquids, and okay. it's 90 days. I mean, all they right. want you to do it 90 days and test. Right. Okay. And then, I'll try and then I love done. testing. I mean, you don't have to keep drinking it. You know, Jay, I'll tell you one thing. I'll leave you with this. I know we keep extending the show, but people like this stuff. I, I, I took a heavy metal at home test, like where you could actually test your heavy metals. Yeah. And I came back high in lead. And I'm like, what the freak did I get lead from? So I'm thinking maybe I was... When I was in New York, my my facility might have had it because it was there was cement dust there all the time. Sure. There was a factory, you know. So I said, you know what? Before I start getting crazy, okay, let me go for blood work at Quest. So I had my doctor friend send me for some Quest, and and you know what? I came back normal. So, you know, take it for you know. Sometimes you know these at home. Everyone's at home testing now themselves. Sometimes they're not that <laughs> accurate because when you have to send your blood through the mail, and it, it might take two weeks for them to actually test the blood contaminants you know happen blood the, the red blood cells break down so you know make sure you get tested at a, at a good accredited facility uh don't trust everything at home just like i tell people with blood sugar monitors they're not that they're not 100 percent accurate sometimes so you got to go and get your blood tested at a lab right. check your hemoglobin a1c in a lab i also did an at-home hemoglobin a1c and it did it came back wrong too so um just to let people know that sometimes it's better to pay a few extra dollars and get it done by a professional. Agreed. All right. Thank you, Jay. Uh, keep us updated, and I appreciate all the knowledge, and you will be back uh, because I, I love having these conversations with you. For now, though, we are out of time. I'm Dave Palumbo with Jay Campbell for another edition of Guru Talk.